Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we are going to talk about the Klehar Betke test. So, what is Klehar Betke test? It is a blood test used during pregnancy to screen the maternal blood for the presence of fetal red blood cells when Rh negative mother conceives Rh positive baby. What is the rule of Klehar Betke test? It is mainly used to assess the severity of fetal maternal hemorrhage a condition in which a disruption in placental barrier allows the fetal blood to enter the maternal circulation. Now the question arises, what conditions cause fetal maternal hemorrhage? Those include first of all, miscarriage or threatened miscarriage of more than 12 weeks of gestation, medical or surgical termination of pregnancy at any gestation, ectopic pregnancy, hydrity for more, prenatal diagnostic procedures like chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis. Abdominal trauma, external cephalic version, antepartum hemorrhage, stillbirth, traumatic delivery including the cesarean section, and manual removal of placenta. What is the pathophysiology of fetal maternal hemorrhage? Pregnant individuals are considered Rh negative when they do not have the rhesus factor on the surface of their red blood cells. For these individuals, the introduction of Rh positive blood into their blood circulation may induce the formation of anti-Rh antibodies. This process can occur when fetal blood enters the maternal circulation, thereby inducing the formation of maternal and anti-Rh antibodies against the fetal red blood cells. These antibodies are not able to cross the placenta during the first pregnancy, so they cannot harm the first baby. However, in future pregnancies, preformed anti-RH antibodies may cross the placenta and destroy the infant's RH positive red blood cells, resulting in fetal anemia, that is, low level of red blood cells. Maternal alloimmunization. This picture shows the development of antibodies to Rh antigen and that occurs when Rh negative mother is pregnant with Rh positive fetus and is exposed to fetal blood. During subsequent pregnancies with Rh positive fetus, maternal antigens can attack the fetal blood leading to hemolytic disease of newborn Hydops fetalis. Now why is it important to know about the amount of fetal maternal hemorrhage. The amount of fetal maternal hemorrhage assessed by Klehar test helps us to calculate the amount of antity to be given to the patient. What is the principle of klehar betke test? The basic principle of Klehar test is acid elutions. Means the acid will cause the destruction of adult hemoglobin but not the fetal hemoglobin. The fetal hemoglobin, HBF, is resistant to acid and alkali as compared to the adult hemoglobin, HBA. How is Klehar betke test performed? A blood sample from mother is made into a smear on a glass slide, then the slide is flooded with acid. Maternal hemoglobin, presumably HBA, as in most adults, dissolves away and the fetal hemoglobin, F, remains intact. Then the slide is washed, stained and red. The mother RBC from which hemoglobin has been washed out are now called the ghost cells but the fetal cells will remain the same. The number of fetal cells is then counted to estimate the total volume of fetal blood loss. So what is a positive klehar betke test? A positive klehar betke test means there is fetal blood in the maternal circulation. The sensitivity of Klehar Betke test is 5 ml, meaning a fetal maternal hemorrhage of less than 5 ml between the fetus and pregnant individual circulation may not be detected with this method. Because the Klehar Betke test is quantitative test, results are often reported as the total amount of fetal blood in the maternal circulation rather than as a positive or negative. Now we will talk about the main advantage of Klehar Betke test and that is to estimate the dose of NTD immunoglobulin which is required. So the dose is calculated in this way 500 international unit NTD immunoglobulin IM will neutralize a fetal maternal hemorrhage of up to 4 ml. 
for each ml above 4 ml 125 microgram of extra entity immunoglobulin are usually required in the case of large fetal maternal hemorrhage and particularly if fetal maternal hemorrhage is in the excess of 100 ml a suitable preparation of iv entity immunoglobulin should be considered Minimum recommended dose of NTD immunoglobulin at less than 20 weeks of gestation is 250 internationally. The minimum dose at 20 weeks of gestation and above is 500 international unit. Now we will talk about the role of anti-RH immunoglobulin that is Rogam. Routine dose of NTD. If an RH negative individual is present with an RH positive fetus, NTD immunoglobulin that is rogam is given at 28 weeks of gestation and again after the childbirth to prevent the pregnant individual from forming anti d antibodies individuals may be given an additional dose of anti rh immunoglobulin in the situation where a fetal maternal hemorrhage may have occurred now what is the role of anti d the anti RH immunoglobulin binds to any RH positive red blood cells from the fetus that sneak into the pregnant individual circulation preventing the formation of maternal antibodies. A standard dose of anti-RH immunoglobulin is enough to prevent the formation of anti-RH antibodies in response to 15 ml about 0.3 ounces or less of RH positive blood. The results of the Clehar Betke test can help quantify the size of fetal maternal hemorrhage, thereby assisting in, in calculating the needed dose of anti RH immune globulin. So, that was all about Clehar Betke test and its significance. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.